What do Marquise Brown, Drake London, Kyler Murray all have in common? They are all so stupidly priced on Yahoo. The rankings are absolutely egregious, and they can be the keys to your fantasy football season. Look, we're giving you the cheat code today to win your draft on Yahoo, your home league with all of your buddies. It's simple. Find the biggest values. And the best way to do that is using Underdog Fantasy's ADP. Why, you might ask? Well, nearly 1 million drafted teams have happened this summer on Underdog Fantasy with real money attached to them. So that player list, that ADP is so much smarter than the default player list that you find on Yahoo or any other platform for that matter. So today we're going to find the biggest gaps in those two underdog versus Yahoo again, to help you find massive values. And the best way to do this same winks is to go position by position and no bigger position to do this with than the wide receivers. To me, that's the position where all the values are. It takes a second. You got to scroll down to find some of the names, but Cortland Sutton, Juju Smith, Schuster, Jerry, Judy, Gabe Davis, Elijah Moore, these are number one or number two targets, solidified good players that are being drafted in like round three, round four of underdog drafts. I'll talk about Juju Smith-Schuster as an example. We're talking about a quarterback upgrade and every down player. We've seen the flashes of being a wide receiver one. Obviously, now when you're with Patrick Mahomes, 60 seconds on Yahoo on underdog, that's all the way up into the 40s. So we're talking about one to two round values here in rounds four through round eight. That's the wide receiver targets up. And we are sorting right now by X rank because that is, again, the default sorting on Yahoo when you open your draft room. Yeah, as you can see from Hayden, the Juju Smith-Schuster ranking is 15 spots different. It's about the same for Rashad Bateman. The most ridiculous one is Chris Godwin. He's so going bad. as the 55th overall player in underdog fantasy. 101 right now in the X rank on Yahoo. It's just people being risk averse. Chris Godwin. Not going to start the season, most likely in the, on the pup list, already participating in individual and now team drills. As soon as he comes back, he's a top two target in and attached to a quarterback who led the league in 20 plus yard passing attempts last season. So bank some of these wide receivers that you feel extremely comfortable about that Hayden just outlined. And then you're still able to get a really, really high upside player in the final 15, 14, 13 weeks of the season with Chris Godwin. Three other names. This is deep. We're talking about round eight, round nine range that we haven't seen the breakout. I have a feeling the breakout's coming. Drake London, rookie, do everything player at USC, top wide receiver in the class. No target competition in Atlanta. Kadarius Tony, we've seen the flashes. You got to squint, but we saw the flashes last year. And then Alan Lazard, Aaron Rodgers calling him his number one wide receiver. Who am I to say that's not going to be true? But this is goes back to our original point. All the wide receiver value is in rounds four through round 10. Draft four or five of them in that range. There's a 28 spot difference between Kadarius Tony, where he's drafted an underdog versus that X rank. And Drake London is at a 48, 38 spot difference. What are we doing here? It's too much. There's one really deep cheat code. Let's do it. Michael Gallup's 234th overall on here. So if people are ranking or doing their drafts off this X rank, that's way too late. It's like a hundred spot different. Same thing with Josh Palmer, 222nd overall on underdog. He's in the 120s. You don't have to start these players week one. Nope. Who cares if they don't have a role week one? The other sharp thing to do is with Michael Gallup, since he's on the pup list right now, you can draft him and put him in your IR spot. And everyone knows that I love Josh Palmer. All he has to do is claim that wide receiver three job. Or if, and hopefully this doesn't happen, an injury happens to Mike Williams or Keen Allen, he is the number one name up either on the outside or in the slot. I think wide receiver is completely maxed out there. Because of that, though, Hayden, and all the values are at that part, running back, not so much. People are hammering running backs early, but there was one name that stuck out to me, and it's Saquon Barkley, who we have on underdog as the 14th overall player. and He's going about four spots after that behind the likes of Aaron Jones and DeAndre Swift here on Yahoo as the 18th overall player. Yeah, we were five spots ahead of him here. He's my favorite running back target. But like you said, because we feel so confident in these wide receiver values, I like starting my drafts running back, running back, or the third round draft, uh, my second running back. I just want one of these top 15 backs. I think James Conner's fine. Uh, I like Javante Williams as a breakout candidate, Leonard Fournette. Uh, and then you avoid that position entirely. Go back to the Cortland Suttons, the Jujus, and all the names that we just brought up. Add one of those wide receivers as a bench spot. Like That's totally fine to be really deep at the wide receiver position and then round out your draft with a couple last minute dart throws. But for the most part, 
the Yahoo drafters are drafting running backs too early, too often. You and I feel comfortable going bang, bang at the position and then basically forgetting about it. Yeah. And that advice fits obviously PPR, half more PPR. And I would even say based on this ranking, you know, standard scoring. We did miss one name at wide receiver. Marquise Brown is going a 37 spot difference between underdog and here on Yahoo. And let's also talk about his quarterback because that seems to be the biggest value, I think, in the X rank. Again, that's where all of your league mates are going to draft with and follow closely because it's the default listing that pops up for you here in this draft room. Yeah, Kyler Murray and then Trey Lance is the other name. Both of them dual threat quarterbacks. We like the uh, wide receivers and tight ends. They're throwing the ball to Trey Lance. People just are so risk averse. They want to see the breakout before they draft the breakout. Well, too bad. You got to do it before it happens. That's where you get the values. So Trey Lance is, is one of those players um, to be targeting. If you do miss out on the top tier, I'm okay with going a Jalen Hurts, a Patrick Mahomes, but I would rather if I am doing the early run quarterback, I'd rather have one of his pass catchers. If you had drafted Mike Williams, then you can go Justin Herbert in round four. I wouldn't be doing uh, Patrick Mahomes without Juju or uh, Travis Kelsey. And if you're looking for a much longer player list, we only touched on a few of these names. Hayden has a full list for really every single platform. It's down linked in the description below. So check that out. And really the best way to prepare for your home league is to go through some of these best ball drafts that we have on underdog fantasy. There are no waivers. There are no trades. There's none of that bullshit. All you do is draft and you can win from a $10 million prize pool. If you have the best draft, you get $2 million. $1 million to the regular season champion. It's incredible stuff. Again, I firmly believe with real money on the line, underdogs ADP is your cheat code. It is the cheat sheet to winning your home league. And the best way, again, to practice in these drafts is to go on over to underdogfantasy.com and use promo code the show. and We'll match your first deposit up to $100. That's simple. It's the best way to get prepared. Everyone else is getting prepared for their home leagues and they're doing it for cash. So this, there's no better way to do it. And... You know, some people might be recording videos in the mock drafts that you just saw and not even paying attention to their picks. That's where Yahoo's ADP is coming from. Ours is people with actual money at stake. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Hit thumbs up. Again, all the rest of the values are linked in the description down below. Check out the other videos on the channel. We want you to win your home league as much as you do. Talk to you soon.